welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install a 2.5 inch SATA drive in the OWC Mercury On The Go Pro series of enclosures. For the purposes of this video, we'll be installing an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro SSD in the triple interface version of the On The Go. However, the steps are identical for any 2.5 inch SATA drive in any of the SATA On The Go models. Inside the package you'll find the main two pieces, the rear plate, connector cables, and a black leather carrying case. There will also be a small bag. In this bag are four silicone feet, two smaller pointed screws, and 12 hard drive screws. The first step is to remove the drive's bridge board assembly from its static-free bag, then slide the heat sink off. You'll notice that there's a SATA connector on the bridge board that corresponds to the SATA connector on the drive. Slide the two connectors together, then flip the whole assembly over. Use four of the 12 hard drive screws to secure the drive to the board. On the heatsink, notice that one side has a longer gap before the mounting point than the other. Slide the bridge board assembly along the groove in the heatsink so that the mounting holes line up and the external ports are on the same side as the longer gap. Secure the heatsink into place using four more of the hard drive screws. On the outer shell, there's a large rectangular hole which corresponds to the raised part of the heatsink. Slide the drive assembly into the outer shell and place it so that the heatsink drops through the opening in the bottom of the shell. This may require some maneuvering to get it to seat just right. Use the remaining four hard drive screws to secure the heatsink to the outer case. Turn the drive so that the heatsink is facing up. Peel off the silicone feet from their strip and place them in the indentations on the bottom of the drive, covering the screws you just attached. Finally, line up the rear cover plate so that the cutouts match the ports on the bridge board, then push it in all the way. You can then secure the plate in place using the two small screws that came with the package. 